गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आई वेलकम यू टू माई वीडियो लेक्चर्स ग्रेट क्लास नाउ दिस इज द लास्ट प्रॉब्लम इन आई पेपर इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन इंजीनियरिंग पेपर टू थाउजेंड एटीन ए कॉइल एंड दिस प्रॉब्लम इज ऑन रेजोनेंस ए कॉइल हैविंग एन इंपोर्टेंस ऑफ टेन प्लस जे हंड्रेड ओम्स इज कनेक्टेड इन पैरल विथ ए वेरिएबल कैपेसिटर as shown in figure keeping excitation frequency unchanged so that is a source is connected here and the excitation frequency is kept unchanged so that parallel resonance and keeping the excitation frequency unchanged the capacitor c value is changed the capacitor c value is changed so that parallel resonance occurs the impedance across the terminals pq at resonance is dash so this is resonance parallel resonance it is also called as anti resonance now first you first you understand what is resonance so when resonance takes place then this current i will be in phase with this voltage so v and i they lie on the same axis that is what Uh, zero phase difference between v and i that is resonance so under what condition uh, resonance occurs at resonance what is the impedance what is the impedance offered by this circuit to this source is the question now to understand to work out this problem student must be thorough with phasor diagram now first what i will do i will sketch voltage phasor i will sketch voltage phasor this is voltage phasor we it is taken as reference now i will sketch this current il current this is i will call this as il current and i will call this as ic current now you sketch il and ic current now in the il in the rl circuit this is rl circuit impedance zl is 10 plus j 100 10 plus j 100. Calculate the value. If you calculate, it comes out to be 100, 100 at 84.3. 100 at 84.3 degrees ohms. Now, what is impedance here in this circuit? Z C is equal to minus j x C R. x c at an angle minus 90 degrees 90 degrees now i will sketch il i will sketch il now this is il this is il lagging behind voltage by an angle 84.3 degrees because rl circuit will have a lagging current it is lagging now what about ic current ic current leads the voltage ic current leads the voltage now we don't know the value of c therefore it can be a shorter vector or it can be a longer vector we don't know now just you sketch the nature of ic current now the ic current will will stand like this leading the voltage by 90 degrees this is ic current and this is 90 degrees now now we have to adjust the value of c now what is the resultant current of il and ic now il and ic if you sketch if you sketch now this is the resulting current now i assume that resonance is not taking place now is i is here now is i is in phase with v no resonance is not taking place now we have to adjust this current value in such a way that this i should be made to coincide with this voltage vector that is possible when when you adjust this current so this current ic is adjusted in such a way that 
this is IC. Now, this, if you assume this also to be IC, then, then, then what happens? This is IC current, this is IL current, then resultant current I is in phase with this voltage. Now the question is, IC is V by XC. What is C? What is impedance? What is impedance offered to the circuit is the question. Now I will assume resonance condition. Assuming the resonance condition, now what I will do is, I will find this magnitude. I will find this magnitude. This magnitude is same as this magnitude. This magnitude is same as this magnitude. This magnitude. And that magnitude is same as, is same as, I will write that V by, V by ZL. V by ZL, V by ZL, V by ZL means this current. Now this is cos 84.3, this is sin. This is cos 85.3, this is sin 85.3. Therefore, V by ZL, V by ZL, sin 84.3 is equal to, is equal to, I hope students have understood. V by ZL is this current. Cos sin, cos 84.3 means this phasor. Then this component, vertical component is sin 84.3. Now this is equated to V by XC. This one. V by XC. V, V get cancelled. Because in this problem we don't know V value. Now you calculate XC is equal to ZL we know. What is ZL? Magnitude of ZL. Magnitude of ZL is 100. 100. 100 by sin 84.3. Sin 84.3. Now, very close to 90 degree. I will make an assumption that XC is approximately equal to 100. I will assume that sin 84.3 is approximately equal to 1. So, XC is equal to 100. XC is 100. And this is XC is 100. You know this impedance. Calculate the impedance. Impedance of the parallel combination. The impedance of the parallel combination is, is 100 84.3 multiplied by 184.3 multiplied by multiplied by 100 minus 90 degrees divided by divided by divided by sum of these two that is 10 plus j 100 minus j 100 minus j 100 i will write x as minus j 100 this is get cancelled get cancelled we, we are getting we are getting this 10 10 get cancelled thousand thousand minus 6 degrees 1000 minus 6 degrees or magnitude of the impedance just magnitude of the impedance means 1000 ohms 1000 so this is how you have to work out this problem thank you